What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. I hope you guys are doing very well amongst yourselves. This is going to be another one of those randomized, unexpected, rambling videos. I know that I have made these types of videos, you know, more than a few times. But at the same time, to tell you that it's some kind of favoritism could maybe be the truth. I would see these kinds of videos as like an up-to-date scenario on what I've been up to and with things that have been experiencing for me, the stuff that I've addressed from a few videos ago is still going ahead. It has been long and a progressing direction. It's not completed yet. Whenever it's going to be completed, I will make a video on it, as I've said before. But I just feel like addressing anything on camera because I feel like it's some up-to-date choice of mine. And despite that I have not been doing a lot of the same content on this channel for now, what I will say is, is that I have been in a really focused and more importantly, a positive mindset. One of the New Year resolutions that I had addressed from my thoughts on 2023 before we reached this year is to focus in a ton of productivity. And I have been exactly doing that. It has gotten to the point that besides that I have actually not been gigging so much, which is something that I feel is rewarding and better for me mentally and physically. I know that I do love to gig, but since I have not got the usual hectic amount of gigs, doing stuff that's some kind of like a, a time off scenario, I owe this year a lot of credit so far. 2024 is different. And I knew it was going to be a different year because after what I've been going through from the positives and the negatives that have happened from last year, 2024 is, in my opinion, a separate headspace of mine. I say this because during my time away from the channel to do some gigs, to rehearsals. I've been taking some time for myself to get back into this motivation of self-belief. Positive mental attitude has always been something that I wanted to get back to. I had felt extremely inspired, motivated and happy since the past few years, despite what I had addressed from 2021. And that was a year that I do not want to reflect at all anymore. I did pick myself up during the last half of that year, but I will never forget that it was one of the most awful experiences for me emotionally. I have made a video about it if you want to check it out for yourself. And I don't want to repeat what I've been going through from that time again on this video. 2024 is a clearer and better direction for me. What I've been up to is to meditate. Meditation is a huge, impactful thing for me. I know a lot of people would not 
be thinking about experiencing meditation or to try it out. I don't just do it for the sake of feeling relaxed, even though that it is a beautiful thing to go through. But meditation has got to the point where if I needed it, I completely feel attached with it. It has gotten to this realization of mine in my head. When I've been thinking about it, it's a huge part of my life. And speaking of meditation, I have been coming back to listening to these compositions, these ambient drones, just like that I've been coming back to Devin Townsend. And I do recommend his uh, Dream Peace YouTube channel. Devin did create that channel for a purpose. And I could not believe how mesmerizing it has been. And I don't force myself to listen to the Dream Peace compositions for the sake of this. But there's a personal reason why. Ambient music to long ongoing drones to something soothing and as gorgeous as these types of compositions, it has a special place with me. Besides Devin Townsend, I've been listening back to metal bands I've addressed previously, like Strapping Young Lad and some Mastodon, Slipknot, Black Sabbath and Fear Factory. And the nostalgia of metal has been awarding. Awarding with nostalgia. You guys already know that I love a ton of different music and genres. But metal is always the most impactful one for who I am as a music fan. I love a lot of metal music and I owe the other genres from albums to bands and vinyl collectors and people a lot of the appreciation. I want to create some direction artistically and emotionally that I want to develop myself even further as a musician. I have experienced my time to create music through different styles of music, through acoustic folk stuff, to the rock stuff, which I really enjoyed. But I have been thinking about which style of music that I want to take very seriously in a permanent way. And... I have made my choice to create my own originality through metal music. So, with that being said, I have been really, really happy. I have never felt this amount of happiness in quite a long while. I'm not just saying this that I want to, you know make attention with how I've been feeling in this positivity. Because there were times that I did feel tired, feel stressed. And as I've mentioned from my bad things from 2023, if you guys already know about this, that I almost fell into a burnout. I had lost the attachments with where I was going at. I thought things were going great and to continue permanently, but then things have happened, things have changed, and it was not satisfying anymore. But I wanted to motivate myself to pick up the pieces. I wanted to grow back my own true self. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to feel 
the opposite of positivity. Because if you don't experience these emotions and hide them, you will not get out through these difficulties. Difficulties of anything do happen, but once you will find a path to go forward and walk into this, I guess, new chapter of yourself, then go for it. But there's a huge meaning with who you are choosing to be. If you don't feel inspired of what you love to do, take a break or try something new. That's what I've been doing. Like, I went out for walks. I sometimes go out with music, with my Raycon Bluetooth earbuds. And it's always depending what I am in the mood for to listen to. But what I will listen to will suit my feelings. I want to grow back this amount of work to feel so passionate about. And speaking of that, I've been writing music that I want to focus on what sounds good for me emotionally and not just positively, but something that sounds good to the ears of mine. If I make up a riff, if I make up something, if I like the sound of something, I would record it. Same goes with lyrics. Sometimes I would think of lyrics on my phone by going to the Samsung Notes app or grab one of my notebooks and write something down. They are very early drafts of inspiration. There will be some moments to tweak the lyrics, to tweak a piece of music, but as songwriting can be hard sometimes, always do your best and record something that is really interesting and inspiring. So, in a nutshell, guys, that's what I've been up to and I feel like doing this video in the first place. I will be returning back to do album reviews in separate segments and more of these types of question videos through a band or an album because I really enjoy that type of content. It's not just because I know loads of different people have been doing that. But I would like to keep that part with my obsession of music as active as I can. That's personally all I would like to say about this whole thing, guys. And no matter what you want to do, take things easy, don't rush things, have a balance. Have this growth to develop anything and help yourself to look in the mirror or reflect and think back of what you've been doing and enjoy yourself. Enjoy who you are deciding to be. No one's going to change your mind. It's all down to you. And I am really fortunate to be that person as well as anybody. I am fortunate to have what I have. I am fortunate to have anyone who's been interested and also interactive with what I've been addressing especially when I have been doing these, these types of videos. 
And I owe you guys so much of the appreciation. Let me know what you guys think about, about this whole thing in the comments down below. If you want to say what you've been experiencing, what you've been up to, then go right ahead. And we can keep this as open, as honest, and as inspired as possible. I think it is also important to address anything that you do want to speak all you want on about. Thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.